guys so today we're gonna be doing another Valentine's Day look but this one's gonna be a little bit different we're gonna keep the eyes really fresh and clean and um, the lips and brows are going to kind of be our focus this time um, for the look I was sent this really cool lipstick it is power lips fluid is what it's called and it's by the brand new skin um, and it's new color and you color I actually got this color right here um, and it is called explore so we're gonna be this is gonna be like the pop for our color today on our look in the last video I did my eyes first and then my face and the reason I did that is because I was using um, some darker colored eyeshadow in my crease and I didn't want the fallout to get all over my makeup and then have to clean it off and reapply. With this one, since I'm going really, really neutral with my eyeshadow, I can do my face first and I'll be fine. I just applied primer oil to start and keep everything really sticking. And I've been using the Smashbox primer oil. Been using the, the new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And my color is DeVille or Joville. Something like that. It's on um, one of the very light sides because you know it's winter. So two pumps of that. Put it all over my face. And blend it out. So next, let's bring back some color and dimension into our face. So I'm going to use my Bare Skin by Bare Minerals. Put it under my eyes. A little sunburst, a little bit down my nose, top of my lips, and right on my chin. I'm going to take my NYX HD finishing powder and just set it. For this look, because I want it to be a little bit softer, I'm not gonna use any cream contour. I'm just going to use my Hoola bronzer. And I'm actually gonna use the brush that came with it. Gonna be using Pinch Me this time for my blush. Cause I want it, my cheeks to be a little bit pinker than normal. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna take this Primavera color from my um, Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, Beverly Hills or Anastasia, however you wanna say it. And I'm just going to lightly tap some gold shimmer onto my eyelid. Then I'm going to take a smaller flat brush with the Primavera on it and just drag it under my eyes. I'm going to take this finger and put it into Tempera. It's right here. Just put a little bit on my brow bone and lash curler. I'm not going to be doing eyelashes or eyeliner. This eye look is going to be very soft and natural. Just a little bit of mascara. Okay, so like I said, I really want my brows and my lips to be the thing that pop in this look. 
So I'm gonna take a spoolie brush and I'm gonna brush my brows up, wanting them to look a little bit more full and fluffy. So now I'm gonna take this Ilore Brow Amplifier. Um, it's a tinted brow gel and it just comes on this tiny little spoolie. I'm just gonna brush it upwards all the way through my brow. I really kinda love how popular unruly brows have become. You guys see the difference? Okay, so when I was doing this brow, I got like a big glop of brow gel right there. So just let it dry, don't try to like wipe it off, it'll get everywhere. Let it dry, then take your spoolie brush and just kind of scrub it and it will like flick right off. Now that I've got the brow gel holding it all in place, I'm gonna take um, a pencil and I'm gonna draw hair strokes through my brows, which is called feathering. So now my brows are like, bam, and they look all fluffy. So now we're gonna do this. So normally I would probably line my lips since this is such a bright color, but um, the packaging doesn't say anything about using a lip liner and I'm afraid if I do, it won't stick like it's supposed to. Look at this fun color. Really fun look. It's like a corally pink. So I, I like the applicator, but I do feel like there's a lot of product on it, which is probably because it's brand new. So I probably should have wiped it off a little bit, but I'll just share it down to the bottom. And it's actually drying really quickly. See, look at this. It's already like almost dry. And it does feel really creamy. It's very soft. Like it feels very weightless. Like it's not sticky. So I feel like I don't have something that's like tight on my lips. That's like, I don't know, like holding it there. It feels very, like I said, like weightless. Like it's not even really there. Yeah. And this color, I mean, I think it looks great on my skin tone. So this is another Valentine's Day look for you where you could just do a more bold brow, really, really soft eyes, and like a pop lip. Obviously I did pink this time, but you could do a red too. Um, and just try some fun colors. You could even do a purple or a blue lip or a green lip but by having a really, really neutral eye, it allows for your lips to be the focus of your look. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment box below. And I wanna show you guys really fast my Valentine's Day nails. They say love. See, love. Anyway, have a good day, bye.